Is it safe to use wireless hearing aids? That's our topic today on Ask the Hearing Doctors. Hi, I'm Jim Cuddy, and this is Ask the Hearing Doctors, and I'm joined today by Dr. Travis Stehauer, Doctor of Audiology with Hearing Doctors, the Washington, D.C. area's highest-rated audiology practice with over 1,500 five-star reviews. Travis, great to see you. Nice to see you. So, bottom line, is it safe to wear wireless hearing aids? Yes, it absolutely is, even if you have a pacemaker, even if you have other implants. If for some reason you're, you have something unusual and your doctor has told you to be careful about it, you know, maybe double check before you, you get them, but for the vast, vast majority of people, it's completely safe, you can wear them all day, and it's not gonna be dangerous. Now, of course, the technology, it's Bluetooth technology. Probably everybody's heard of Bluetooth technology, but for those that may not know, what is Bluetooth technology? So Bluetooth is a specific band of frequencies, like a radio frequency. So just like AM is a certain, AM radio is a certain frequency range, FM radio is a certain frequency range, Bluetooth is just another frequency range. And it connects all sorts of different devices together, um, including hearing aids to phones nowadays. So let's talk about some of the advantages of wireless technology, because it seems like the sky's the limit on this. Yeah, there's an ever-increasing number of ways that you can connect devices together. So when you have hearing aids, um, you can make adjustments using an app on your phone or using the phone itself. Um, you can you know, change programs, change how it's working. You can listen to phone calls or podcasts or audiobooks in both ears. Um, there's more and more um, different accessories that you can plug into the TV or plug into your laptop. Pretty much, there's, there's a way to connect pretty much anything you could think of to your hearing aids so that you can hear it more clearly. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, you, you know, you usually when, when we, we hear the word radiation, we think of something negative. And there is something called Bluetooth radiation or EMF slash EMR. Mm -hmm. Is there concern there or is there, is there some sort of danger there? I mean, radiation is kind of a bad word in our world. Yeah, so we always want to differentiate between ionizing radiation and non-ionizing radiation. So the ionizing radiation is the thing that we usually think of that's being dangerous. So um, X-rays, gamma rays, um, you know, nuclear radiation, all of those can cause damage to our cells. And that's why we have to really be careful and limit how much exposure we have to those things. But then there's non-ionizing radiation, and that's what most of the light radio spectrum is. So when you're looking at colors, that is, technically speaking, non-ionizing radiation reaching your eyeballs. It's just that we perceive it as color. So radio frequencies of all different kinds and light are all um, types of radiation. The, the wave is going from whatever it is you know, to you and to your eyes. And so what type of signal is emitted from a, a Bluetooth hearing aid? Yes, so the, sp the specific frequency range is 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, and that's what a lot of different devices use to communicate to each other. Um, and it is, in any study that's ever been looked at, um, deemed completely safe at pretty much any exposure amount. Now, are hearing aids considered medical devices and so therefore regulated for safety? Yes, so there's two different regulatory bodies that these hearing aids go under. So um, as you'd imagine, the FDA is involved as a class two medical device that has to meet certain safety and um, testing requirements. But the moment that they add an antenna in it and it communicates wirelessly, you're also involved with the FCC, uh, who is gonna regulate what frequency bands that you can do and how much energy can be in those signals. So in, in that case, the, the hearing aids have been tested and manufactured for fulfilling both of those criteria. And overseen by two different agencies. Right. Yeah, so in the end, it's safe to wear them and there are a lot of advantages. Yes, absolutely. I always say, you know, if you're not concerned about damage being caused by green or blue light as you're walking around, the energy in Bluetooth is significantly less than the amount of energy in visible light. And there you have it. Travis, great information. Thanks as always for being with us. Absolutely. If you're in the Washington metropolitan area and you'd like to schedule an appointment with hearing doctors, click the link in the description or visit hearingdoctors.com.